Hello, hello! So today we are doing um, an Iron Fist shoe haul, which is something I've, I've never really done a haul before. And I think that's because I don't really buy a lot at once at any given time. I don't usually go into a store and like pick a bunch of things because I'm very picky and choosy about how I spend my money. So it's, it's rare for me to buy like more than one thing at once. And I, and I wish I wasn't like that, but that's just how I am. But on this particular and very unique instance, I happened to purchase three pairs of shoes within a week of each other. It's bizarre, it's an anomaly, it deserves to be documented within the confines of this video. And I'm also gonna do kind of like a little review, just tell you what I thought about each thing, because why not? I don't need to just show you what I got, because I can do that in a picture. I'm gonna tell you what I think of each and every one. I have never owned Iron Fist shoes before this, ever, ever. And a lot of my girls do, and I've gotten mixed reviews, so I was kind of like, oh, I don't know, my God. But they were so cute that I could not resist. What happened was, a friend of mine named Jen sent me a link to Beyond the Rack, which is, I don't even know how you would explain their site, but you can get cool brand name stuff at a discount. I don't really know that much about it, other than that, I certainly signed up when she sent me this link because they had Iron Fist shoes for about a third of the price. And I love a good sale. So I ordered two shoes from them and then I was with my friend Alex and he was like, why did you order those? You know what shoes you want. And he was right because I had been eyeing up a different pair of Iron Fist shoes online for quite a while and then I just thought, well, the hell with it, I'll just buy it. I don't know. I don't know what came over me. It's so not like me to do this, but I'm going to show you each and every pair. So the first two pair I have boxes for, the second I don't because I tore right into them and put them on my feet and I tossed the box into the nether realm and just said goodbye forever. So just pretend that there's a box. This is what it looks like when it comes in. It's a very cute box. I'm a fan, pink and what have you. It's good when you open it up, they look like this! Offhand, I don't know what they're called, but it certainly will be in the description and probably written across my face right now. They are very cute. Um, they have a little tiny, tiny heel, uh, of which is little consequence because it doesn't make any difference in your height. These have little bunnies and a big bow, and they're kind of like Mary Jane's a bit because the sides um, are open here and there's this little bit of elastic to kind of give you some stretch. I haven't worn these ones out yet but just from trying them on I I can tell I'm gonna have to wear some kind of socks or stockings with them because the heel right here like this back bit was digging into me and I really do want to wear them and these I got for a grand total of about $25. It was amazing. I couldn't, this is why I bought them because I don't think I would have paid full price for these without having been able to try them on. I don't like buying shoes online. Are you like this too? I don't like it. It's such a gamble. And I mean, this proves it's such a gamble because like they fit okay, you know? And they're so cute that I'm definitely gonna suffer through it, but they're not enjoyable. <laughs> but they are very cute. And I was like, oh, you know, for fall, I should get something that's like got black and dark colors in it. Was that a realistic thought? Uh, I, I, probably not. The second pair are very, very funny because I have a personal rule that I don't really buy open-toed shoes because I just don't really like how my feet look in them. So, <laughs> knowing that, this isn't gonna make any sense because these are open-toed <laughs> in every sense of the word. But, I mean, like you can, you can, I mean, it, look, look at them. Like, obviously I bought them. These were, again, beyond the rack, about $30, which is, I think, half price or, or maybe less. I don't know how much they cost usually. But to me, I was like, yep, $30, I can, that's my price range. <laughs> the heel is glittery. And then the rest, okay, there's like mint on the inside with little hearts. Yes, good. And then the print on here is kind of like a zombie fast food print. And if I'm being like totally honest with you, I didn't quite realize that when I bought them. From the thumbnail and even the bigger image, they just looked like they were just ice creams. And I mean, to be fair, there are like ice creams and stuff on them, so that I think that's just what I saw. They're not comfortable. They're not comfortable at all. They don't like rub in anywhere weird on my feet. I will tell you, I have a very, very thin foot. I should probably be wearing 
a seven and a half due to the length of my foot, but I have a very thin foot and it makes it hard to buy shoes. So I always get, usually I get a seven because, you know, if it's gonna be too way too wide, I'd rather have a little bit of crunch in the toe a little bit. I do find it hard to buy shoes a lot because my foot just isn't the same size as shoes are made, you know? So I got a seven in all of these. They're so cute on, I mean, just look at them. Like, they're so cute on, it's unreal. I think these may become what Oprah refers to as sitting shoes. Like I might wear them to a dinner or like, I wouldn't wear them shopping is what I'm trying to say. But they're so precious that I don't feel bad about it. <laughs> Listen, I know I bought summer shoes going into fall. Nobody said I was smart, except for my mother. Thanks mom. And now, last but not least, the best, the most beautiful pair of shoes you've ever seen in your life. And if you disagree, you are inherently wrong and everyone will agree with me. And I'm just sorry, but that's, I feel so strongly. I will preface this by saying I have worn them a lot, so they're not like brand new. They still look great. Oh my God, oh my God. It's like a beautiful little plump cherub flittered down from effervescent clouds and kissed my feet and created these shoes. When I saw these online, it was like, it was like my soul just floated out of my body for a second because I'd never seen something that I was like, that's me. Those shoes are a representation of me as a person. Okay, they're a little bit dirty because I've been wearing them, but like the bottom's pink too. Can you even, I, I can't get over them. They're just beautiful. So we have like a, a generation one My Little Pony print on the canvas here. And I was a very good, good girl. And as soon as I took them out of the package, I said, you know what? I'm not gonna wear them right away. I'm going to spray them with the proper canvas shoe spray three times on different occasions and then I let them dry for a day and then I sprayed it again. It was a like a journey with these shoes, but I'm telling you right now that it was totally worth it because I was out recently and someone stepped on my shoe and it left a mark and I was like <gasps> and then I went home and I just wiped it off. It just came right off. And I felt like a genius. Like I like I created the shoe spray. And I didn't, but Imagine how that guy feels. These shoes I did not buy on sale and I don't feel bad about it because they're the best thing in my life right now. That's not true. I, do, I didn't mean that, but also I kind of did. They were like, mm, I wanna say 70 to $80 for these shoes. And then I paid like $30 shipping to Toronto. But I will tell you right now, it was 100% worth it because these shoes are the most comfortable, like they're so comfortable. And you know what, I feel like if you can find shoes that make you feel really good and are incredibly comfortable, it's worth it. So I guess I just kind of assumed I'd never find a pair of comfortable shoes that make me feel like a million bucks. And I did. So you know what, the truth is out there. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon, bye.